welcome back to the channel guys hope you're all well as you can see yeah I'm in my running gear first time first time out in I know running probably in about four four or five months um so yeah so actually gone out like I said just doing a video so fat chat straight away and um, yeah I've got on the scales again and put more weight on so I went right that's it I am getting out running so yeah gone out running dressed up had my headphones in I need to get some wireless ones I think though and um, but yeah I did two miles I averaged like 10 minutes per mile which isn't too bad so 20 minutes two miles happy days put a screenshot on the on the video here for you and um, if you're interested anyway I used the nightcap by the way Um I used to do a lot of running before so I don't think my pace considering I've had a bit of a gap and put a little weight on it's not too bad at the moment I used to be in like the low eights I'm not chasing times this time because uh, I had uh, knee issues when I did that before so uh, yeah it's just time to lose a bit of weight just keep a little bit more fit anyway topic of the video issues for the speed twin it's struggling to turn over yeah I've got the battery issues obviously the bikes were well, by the time you see it it'll be like nine months old so about eight months old now at the time of this video um, obviously in the UK the temperatures have dropped off off a cliff obviously I'm um, fair weather rider as you know so I've not been using the bike that much um, now mine's the Euro 4 spec model bike it's not one of the new new ones so it might have been sat in the showroom for a little while who knows however yeah the bike for myself is eight months old however it could be a year and a bit old of it just being sat there with its battery on um, it's the usual thing you turn the ignition on you get all lights up all fine you go to crank it and the screen goes blur and it resets all the trips if you go on all the forums this seems to be like a common thing when the battery decides to give up the ghost it usually starts up on the second or third attempt I've been I left it a week started up let it run turned it off and did it the week later um, and it did exactly the same thing now I started up yesterday um, it was second attempt it was like minus four I think when I did it so I did it proper test and um, so um, so yeah what I've done so I've ordered a new battery um, could I find the original battery in stock anywhere I could but it was gonna cost me 20 or quid for delivery on top of whatever the price was which was extortionate and um, everywhere else was out of stock it's probably all this uh, haulage issue and things like that and raw materials so I bought a new battery off the sports bike shop it's coming today ordered it last night eight o'clock sports bike shop getting delivered today at about half ten sports bike shop it was only like 47 pounds now I know quite a few of you'll probably go well, hang on a minute Dave why don't you just send it back to Triumph now for me the Triumph dealers an hour away the bike I actually bought it from is about two and a half hours away so um, yeah I thought to be honest for, for the sake of 47 quid and my time uh, obviously it's it, you know I'm a family man so and it's not nice out there to ride and things like that I thought 47 quid I'll just buy one and when I book it in for its service which will probably be about April May time I'll take that battery along with me to be honest or refit it make sure I got enough charge to get there and go look batteries now so I'll have a spare battery then um, if they'll do it but I believe the batteries from what I've read into it only got a year warranty even though the bike's got two years it's always a grey grey thin little line they like to mess around with don't they but um, even if it is two years and they change it happy days I'll have a I'll have a spare battery in case it happens again but I thought for the sake of 47 quid of my time and it's only like a 10 minute job anyway I'll do that so yeah if you're wondering well it's obviously still in warranty day why aren't you changing it well that, that's the reason really it's it's my time more than anybody else's and um, like I said yeah it's nice to go over to Triumph and hopefully they give you a loaner and you can go out on a bike or something but when it's really horrible you know the, every weather forecast keeps saying snow and stuff like that I, I I really can't be dealing with it <laughs> so so yeah I took the 47 pound on the chest and that's including delivery so you can't really fault that at all and um, I'll put the link in the description of the exact battery and all the spec um, but yeah fingers crossed it all fits it's meant to be bang on the measurement and um, I think one slight meal out on the width and um, but on a few links I clicked on online uh, for the battery for this bike it linked to those that battery anyway so um, Someone obviously put, you know, lymphium or 
or the original traditional battery sort of uh, links. Um, yeah, I didn't go for a lithium battery. Um, obviously, I could buy two and a half of these batteries for the cost of uh, a decent one of them. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd go with the sort of standard battery, and then I wouldn't have to replace my Oxford either. Obviously, because that'll help charge this battery as well. Anyway, well, I'll see if the bike turns over today. Like I said, I had started it yesterday, so it may well do. It's a warmer day today. However, let's 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 have a look, see if she does, eh? Before we uh, fit the other one. Right. Obviously, got to use your clutch. So put the camera down for a sec. Let's see if she starts up. It all lights up nicely on the dash. And there you go. It's uh, reset all the trips again. Trip one, I'll show you now. So yeah, it's just reset all the trips and stuff again. Trip two, Marsby Allen. I don't know if it focuses on, and yeah, it's done it again. So we'll see if it'll do it for the second time. Try and start. It usually does it second or third time. Put you back there. All right. See if it starts up second time. Just managed to uh, uh, start up on the uh, that attempt. Cool. So hopefully you can hear me. I'm in the garage, a bit running now. But yeah, you can see why I'm going to change the battery. It just hasn't got enough power to crank it over. I think the battery generally is probably not really big enough for the bike. Um, try and probably done it for the aesthetics to try and fit it under the seat minimize space and things like that um, as you know I always keep mine on battery tender so it's always uh, on charge getting looked after never had a problem with the Oxford with all, well my other bike or this bike up till now um, but yeah I just think as the it's kind of cooled off as you can see uh, you know <laughs> I don't know you can but yeah it's basically it is not it's not warm so um, yeah I think the cold's probably just killed it but a bit disappointed in the sense that it's not even a year old and the battery's died however it is what it is it does seem a bit of a common thing with triumphant batteries so yeah I'll show you the battery when it does arrive because it hasn't actually arrived here yet uh, and just quickly how you have to do it but it's, 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 it's nice and easy if you've ever fitted anything to your battery like a battery uh, tender or or battery maintenance uh, device um, basically yeah just to take the terminals off take the little loopy bracket off um, and there's like a bungee cord thing that holds it down and hey presto it's out and then reverse it but I, I, I can quickly show you that in a minute when I get the other battery anyway uh, if you haven't already please like and subscribe and and I will drop into the video now or fitting it in hopefully it started It'll be a bit of a delay and I'll probably be changing clothes mainly because I'll probably make sure this new battery is fully charged first um, it only makes sense uh, to do that so um, cool anyway hopefully it should come fully charged but we'll see eh? anyway see you in a second in YouTube world and just like that it's here can't fault that all at about half eight here at half ten the next day happy days so let's have a look at this battery shall we right and here it is this is the box. Look, you get a nice sticker. It's a French battery. Wee oui, wee. Oui. But yeah, basically the same specs as on the original battery. So, yeah, obviously you get your instructions. And there's the battery itself. So, what we've got to do is take that one out. Right, we all should be familiar with the speed tuner now to get the seat off. Obviously, do that, lift the seat off. Obviously this wire here is for my Oxford charger, which is obviously connected to the battery. You've got your USB uh, charging, charge port if you want to use it. I've never used mine to be fair. I couldn't even tell you if it worked. Um, but I don't know if a few people run the wire up to the handlebars for the phone. But my phone has a good battery anyway. But it's handy if you didn't know that was there, it is there. Um, so first of all, to remove the battery, You've got like this bungee strap, which just hooks on down there, which keeps the battery in place. So you need to remove that. Um, 
you disconnect the negative first, the connection, before you take off the positive. So I'm going to get my toolkit out, disconnect that, disconnect that. This then is a plastic little sleeve cover, which should just unhook from from there. There you go. Well, it just lifts off. There you go. And then you'll be access to your battery. So I'm going to do all that now. And so I'll fast forward until it's out and we'll compare both battery sizes. Right. It's as simple as that. So, um, yeah. The... Uh, battery is out happy days so let's compare it with the one over there let's have a look now all right and there they are side by side as you can see identical bobs jobs are good eh? so obviously yeah, it's just got a cap there there you go and um, so yeah all the terminals all the same size so it is literally just a direct replacement so yeah let's get it fitted to the bike all right all right just put the battery in into its little slot fits absolutely fine so it's just a case of sort of uh, uh connecting the positive then the negative putting that over and then putting a the little flap over so um bungee whatever you want to call it so i'll do that now it's easier than holding a camera at the time so uh yeah and then we'll well, uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, also put my Oxford on, but if you watch my Oxford video, it literally is connecting to the terminals, uh, the negative and the positive onto that, and then that goes into your into your little uh, charging machine. So um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll do this off camera, and by the time you see it, it'll all be all nice and neat and tidy, and hopefully for a first start. <laughs> Right, and there you have it. Like I said, it's nice and easy. I've already put me uh, me uh, Oxford oxidizer on on it, so to help keep it charged up as per usual. But yeah, like I said, everything just fits into place like it was stock. Like I said, happy days, nice and easy. So yeah, obviously I can't tell you how good this battery's going to be long term. Uh, but if you want a replacement of the uh, what's it called, the Acer one, one of those. BS or oh, BS batteries BT said 10s does the job fits well everything looks stock happy days like like it should to be honest so yeah obviously I've plugged it in and it it basically was if you can zoom in you went to maintain within like about 10 seconds so um, so yeah it's just maintaining the battery now so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect, disconnect that, and we'll try and do a first starter. Right, well, this is first start, so fingers crossed, eh? Lights up how it should. The most annoying thing about the battery thing is that it's, when it loses your trips, you don't see how many miles you got to your tank, um, your miles per gallon things lost, and obviously the fuel gauge, I know it hasn't got 52 miles in, it's, it's probably got more like 30 odd, so um, it just throws it all out, so the bike's going to have to relearn. But yeah, there we go, first start.